Hey everyone, okay, so I'm gonna show you how to make a quick lip balm for winter or for whenever. I'm using this box that I got on Amazon and if you like it, I'll leave a link down below. It is an affiliate link. I just started doing that, so let's see if it helps out or not. But it's called Care and Kind and it brings 50 lip balm tubes okay total of 5.5 mls a pouring tray and a spatula and some writable printed labels that i'll show you right now as soon as i can get this open Ooh, okay all right so it comes with this little tray we'll pop all the lip balms here like this and then we'll turn it this way and we'll go ahead and we'll pour in our mixture. This comes with some instructions, which I'll show you anyways. And a little handy dandy spatula, if I can get it out. Oh, cool. So you can store it. It actually comes perfect size for just putting it back in here so it doesn't fall over. That's kind of neat. You can find these anywhere. Um, I got it through Amazon just because of the speed time. I'm working on making some lip balms for our church for Easter as a gift for the ladies. And here we go. You, once you have your solution, you just scrape it off if you made like a big pour. You may not even need this, but it's really handy and it's really cool that they included it. Pretty simple to read instructions. Oh, this is neat. It comes with little stickers and labels that you can go ahead and add. This would be cool. I like this. Oh, cool. Even more. Okay. And some other ones. I guess that you can kind of write on your own what it is that you want. All right. And then the tubes, the reason I got these were because they were the see-through kind. I mean, they're not completely, well, yeah, they are see-through, but they're kind of like an opaque see-through. I really liked these, and there's 50 of them. So this should be enough for the ladies at church. I'm gonna go ahead and chop up together a video of how I made everything but it is extremely simple now when you go to the store and you go get some chapstick of course if you buy like a whatever brand um, you're probably not gonna pay that much you're probably gonna pay like maybe a dollar two dollars something like that if you actually go for um, I don't know something a little bit better then of course you're gonna pay even more and if you're like me, I really enjoy Burt's Bees, and Burt's Bees is extremely pricey. You're going from $5 to up, depending on which one you get. So, but making lip gloss at home is extremely, extremely easy to make, and it's very economical. Um, you can get whatever types of oils you want um, pretty easily. Like, let's say you had a really, really tight budget, you can go ahead and grab... Um, like I'm gonna be using today some coconut oil. I'm gonna be using some olive oil. Those two things, if you're on a tight budget and you need to give out some gifts or something, you can go to the Dollar Tree and get yourself some oils there and it will be extremely economical, really easy. Um, or if you're making big batches or if you're a soap maker, like I'm a soap maker, I'll buy things more in bulk, uh, specialty items, things like that. To make a lip balm is very simple. You're gonna need some soft oils, some hard oils or butters, and wax. Wax is kind of what keeps it together, helps it from not melting all over the place, keeps it nice and firm. Um, so what we're gonna use today is, I'm gonna be using coconut oil, um, shea butter, cocoa, little wafers, um, beeswax, I'm gonna be adding some liquid oils of a little bit of apricot, a little bit of avocado. Um, this one is, it says calendula oil. It's really misinterpreting what it is. This is actually olive oil 
that has had calendulas infused in it, but we're gonna use this one anyway. And we're gonna use some rosehip oil, which is really good for dry skin and things like that, especially now with winter time, our lips are chapped. And I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna put a vitamin E inside of our mixture. Reason for that is two reasons. Number one, vitamin E is extremely soothing for your skin, but also it's a preservative, so that's gonna help. I will also add a little bit of honey to my mixture, probably depending on the ratios that I use, it will depend on how much honey I use. Um, let me see what else we got. And then as far as any colorants go, I was thinking about leaving it clear, but I don't think so. I'm gonna be using Shimmering Light Gold Mica Powder from uh, Wholesale Supplies Plus. And I may even add a little bit of Edible Shimmer. Um, I got this one at Walmart. It's We got pink and we got gold. And what I'm gonna be doing as far as the flavoring uh, for, the, for the lip balm is I'm gonna be using um, food grade, 100% natural, lemon citrus oil from this one is from doTERRA um, you can ingest this so i'm going to be using this and i wanted to make it a little bit fun so i'm going to be using a strawberry flavor okay you can get this at the candy aisle at your grocery store like maybe at walmart it's for candies it's 100 percent edible so i'm going to be basically mixing the two together and this one is strawberry so i'm kind of going for a strawberry lemonade type of flavor and I went ahead and mixed it this is kind of what it looks like it still separates I got to mix it very well and then I'll incorporate it all into the oils um, so let's see I'm gonna go mix in some videos and put it all together so you guys can see how easy it is to make some lip balm okay guys stick around okay so what I did here was a double boiler method for all the hard oils which was the cocoa wafers, the coconut oil, and the shea butter. And later on, I went ahead and added all the other oils as far as the olive, the avocado, and the apricot, the rose hip oil, all that stuff was added later. And I'm also adding the beeswax because that's going to take a really long time to kind of melt through. So this kind of just helps out. Okay, so we got these ready. This is the top, this is the bottom. So we're gonna face it this way, upside down, see? We're gonna go ahead and grab one of the chap lip balms. Okay, I always like to make sure that this is all the way down. Once you, it's all the way down, go ahead and just press it down, just like so. Make sure it's all the way down and do that. <laughs> so just like that okay I'm gonna put this on a faster speed so you don't get bored all right so this was easy peasy lemon squeezy if you have any young children that want to help so that you don't have to do the tedious stuff then I would implore you to use them for help <laughs> um, just make sure they wash their hands real well either way this is really cool I really like how that it holds 50 at a time and I went ahead and put the lids inside of the box to keep it safe Go ahead and put all this stuff there too. The instructions and all of that good jazz. Now, I think this is awesome because if you didn't have this, you would kind of have to maybe put it somewhere and it might flip over, you might lose your product and you don't want that to happen. So them being here, nice and firm and sturdy is just great. So the oils that I had mixed up, the hard oils, got a little bit cold, so they got solidified a little bit. So I'm putting them again on top of the stove under a uh, like a water, yeah, like a water bath, and I'm just gonna stir it around until it's completely melted. I'm gonna bring it back and we're gonna go ahead and add all the soft oils to it, and then we're gonna pour these and we'll see how easy it is to work with. All right, so I'll be right back, guys. 
Okay, I'm back. All right, so everything, all the hard oils are incorporated. Um, well, I'm not gonna say exactly what I use just yet. I mean, I'll say what I use. I won't tell you the rations until we try to fill these 50 tubes up because honestly, I pretty much just winged it. I always have and it always comes out good, but I've never used this many tubes in one sitting. So we'll see if this works. Okay, so let's, we're gonna go ahead and grab our soft oils, okay? So let me see, what do I got, what do I got? I'm gonna shake it up real good. This is the calendula oil, which really was just calendula flowers infused in olive oil. Now, olive oil is really good for the skin. I mean, all these oils are good for the skin, which is why I'm using them. So, let's see. I'm gonna put one tablespoon of each of these soft oils, okay? So here we go. Okay, that's one of that very, very nice olive oil, which has calendula in it. Let me go ahead and stir this up because those oils are kind of at room temperature, so they're kind of cold and I don't want it to completely. Here's one tablespoon of apricot oil. I'm gonna go ahead and stir that. You wanna stir? Okay, my daughter's gonna help stir. I'm gonna do one tablespoon of avocado oil. Okay, that's good. All right, ah, I don't wanna lose you guys. My tripod almost fell off the table. Okay, so we're gonna add a little bit of rosehip oil, which is also very good for your skin, for all over your body, every type of body type is good for it. Um, this one's organic rosehip oil. And I'm just gonna go ahead and just do one, you know what? We're gonna do two dropper fools. Okay. All right, stop for a second. I just wanna touch my bowl just to make sure it's not, you don't wanna add your essential oils to something that is way too hot. Okay, this feels pretty good. So first I'm gonna add a little bit of the pink edible shimmer. The reason I'm adding the pink first is because, and I'm really just eyeballing this one, is because sometimes if I were to add the gold first, it may be too bright and too gold and I don't want it to be like that. So that looks kind of nice, it looks very pretty. And I'm gonna go ahead and add a little bit of the shimmering light gold mica powder from Wholesale Supplies Plus. Hold on, stop staring for a minute. I just wanna get a good eye, there you go. So this is probably just gonna give a very, very light shimmer, I hope. Um, I don't think this is gonna give really any color whatsoever, but it will give a nice shimmer. Look at that, it's so pretty. Let me try and tilt this so you guys can see it. Slowly, mama. Look at that, that's nice. Okay, so here I've got my lemon essential oil and the strawberry flavoring. I put about 25 drops of lemon essential oil in here and this was probably almost all the way full. I'm gonna say this was like one fourth from being full. And I'm gonna go ahead and let's see. It smells so good. This actually smells like um, like when you go to the Cracker Barrel and you have like a strawberry lemonade or raspberry lemonade, whatever it is they have, this smells just like it. You smell it? Mm. It smells pretty good. So I just hope it works. So we're gonna go ahead and pour this in. The whole thing. All right, let's see. I'm gonna, pour, I'm gonna put it upside down. You think we should add more pink? Just it's a gonna, little bit. I don't think it's gonna give it color though is the issue. So this looks very like um, salmon, and salmon's okay. So we're gonna or keep watermelon. it like this. Watermelon, yeah, it kinda looks like watermelon. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and let's put this down. Oy. All right, 
So let's see. We've got our tray here. Here's what we're gonna do. I'm going to pour this mixture into a little funnel that I have. You can get a funnel anywhere, really. Um, probably get it at the dollar store, Walmart. This one came with a face mask making kit that I got the girls for Christmas. All right, so we're gonna go ahead. You know what? I'm actually going to stir it even better because when I look in here, I still see the honey mixture is still at the bottom. So we're gonna go ahead and pour that right back in. And I'm gonna go ahead and try to really incorporate that. When it was melted the first time, it was perfect. But, oh, don't move me. Um, it was perfect the first time, but once it started to solidify, it got a little wonky. So I just wanna make sure that everything is perfect. Stir, 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 stir. Okay, it's all already starting to solidify, so I wanna really try to hurry up. I'm gonna go ahead and pour this in here. That's much better, yes. Okay, so let's see how much of this it will fill. We're gonna go ahead, I'm gonna really try to be very neat with my pores. Ooh, okay, that was close. Let's see. I don't want to make a mess. There are different ways to do this. I'm pretty sure you can pour the whole thing in. See, I did not want to do that, but that's okay. What? You should put it there. No, it's okay. All right. Now, if we need to make more lip balm, it's not gonna be hard to do. I'll just redo my measurements again. The only thing that will be different will be the fact that I used up all the strawberry flavoring. So I could either do it where it's lemon, just lemon essential oil, or if I wanted to, I could do, just make them plain. These tubes are taking it in real well. Okay. So, Abby, go ahead and count the ones that it has done. Sorry, you got hard inside the thingy. It's okay. Okay, so I'm gonna stop here real quick. And I'm gonna get this little handy spatula that it came with. No, we're gonna remelt that. So this that spilled, I'm just gonna go ahead and grab my little spatula and we're just going to scrape it. Okay. And I'm gonna go ahead and put it right back in here. Oh, and my daughter is getting the leftovers and we're just gonna remelt that. So counting, let's see, let's count what we do have. I'm just trying to scrape it so that it's nice and neat. More. It will, it will put more in a minute. So it did, let's see. Two, Each row is 10. Okay, so 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. So with the way that I did it, it did 26. 26? I think so, yeah. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20. So 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26. Okay, so the way that I did it, it gave me 26 lip balm tubes, okay? Plus this. I'm going to remelt this, and then we will very on a very very low heat because I know I have my essential oils in there so I'm gonna go ahead and melt this at a very low temperature and come back and see how many more it fills up okay guys be right back guys isn't this color beautiful 
it's like a salmon now I had to re-melt this a few times it was just not working out how I wanted but finally got it to the right consistency and we were able to fill up almost the entire thing I'm really happy with the way that it poured and everything but that in-between stuff was kind of tricky I was having a total meltdown <laughs> Spatula was kind of helpful. Well, kind of no, it was helpful. Not perfect, but it did help a lot. Still had a very hard time with the honey. I felt that it didn't incorporate it as good. Okay, so after a really brief meltdown, um, they're filled. Some of them are not filled all the way. That's okay. The heat gun will take care of it. No big deal. And it went ahead and it filled 50 tubes of lip balm. Now, I will have to say this. I do like the spatula. It's very handy. But I feel that you'll have better luck using like a wall spatula for spackling. I feel that those are firmer and it'll be easier to be more sturdy with your hand. And two of the tubes kind of warped. I don't know if you can see, but right here, this one kind of warped. So that's not going to be able to be used. It won't go up or down. So I guess usable, I'll have 48. And that's okay. That's enough for my project. And. I'll go ahead and let these fully harden up and then we'll take them out and I'll show you what they look like. It'll probably be tomorrow. So I'll be back in a jiffy. Hey everybody. Okay, so it's been a week. Clearly, <laughs> it's been actually, yeah, it's been about a week. And I wanted to show you guys how <laughs> all the lip balms turned out. Clearly, this one wants to show itself. So. This is what they turned out looking like. Aren't they pretty? So no, I mean, there is a, there's a small tint. It's like a pink. It's a very, very light pink color. And let's see what they look like. All right. They look pretty good. Let's open one up. There you go. So, oh, we have a little bubble there. We could fix that. So it looks pretty darn good. Um, that has a little bit of an indentation there. Let's see if you can see it. Yeah, a little one. So that's not a big deal. Um, what I'm gonna do is if anything has like any smudges, like you see that has a smudge from going and grabbing, hold on, let me put this away grabbing this little scraper and kind of doing like that. What I'm gonna do is I have a handy dandy little heat gun. And what we'll do is we'll just grab the heat gun without the lid on and we'll go ahead and just kind of melt it on the top a little bit. And that'll make it really, really smooth. And they'll be ready to go. Um, I also have, let me see if I have one here. Yeah, I did. So this brought some stickers. Or I guess not stickers, but maybe like labels. Um, and I'm going to go ahead, like I did this one yesterday. And I went ahead and I just put the label. It says lip balm, 100% pure natural lip base. All natural lip balm. So actually, it is all natural lip balm. It brought some other ones that I'm not really thrilled about, but they're still kind of cute. We could use them for like kids, maybe. Those are pretty. Um, after I go ahead and, and put the labels on all of them, I'm gonna go ahead and shrink wrap them. I ordered some shrink wrap off of Amazon to go ahead and put it over these so that they're safe and ready for 
um, Mother's Day at church. Now everybody feels like it's clean, which it is. My hands are always washed. Also, something else that I do, um, which helps out. Sometimes the bottles can be a little bit um, greasy from just being poured on and the caps being put on and such. So what I usually do is I grab myself a little dish towel or something like that and I grab a little bottle and I fill it up with some 91% isopropyl alcohol. That's good stuff, guys. And I just go ahead and spray them. And I just kind of give them a little wipe down to make sure that, you know, it's squeaky clean versus, you know, any type of grease residue. Because if there is any type of residue, then these labels or any label that you put on them are not gonna stick. So, let's see. I wanna grab the one that looked a little wonky so that I could just try that one on. Because clearly, my lips are dry like, like the Euphrates River. They are dry like the Euphrates River. Not good. So, <laughs> I have, let's see. Okay, so this is the one that was kind of like wonky looking. And just so that it doesn't go to waste and I don't have to, you know, heat gun it, I'm gonna try it. Well, it feels, it feels really smooth, like creamy, not in a bad way, in a good way. There's no color at all. I have a little bit of a popped pimple that I did there. Not a good thing to do, but anyways, it looks good, feels good, doesn't really look like anything, but it will protect you against, you know, having like chapped lips or anything like that with, from the cold, the wind, or the heat. And also it has coconut oil in it, which is a natural sunblock, so that's good. All right, what I'm gonna do is go ahead and clean all these bottles and put the labels on them. And then once the shrink wrap gets here, I'll go ahead and shrink wrap it. I'll make sure to film it. And I will leave links to any of the things that I have a link to. I'll go ahead and leave a link to it. I'm also gonna go ahead and leave the recipe. I would absolutely do, the, well, I'm gonna leave the recipe as if I'm doubling it because I feel you would be better off not having to rebatch or make more because originally it didn't cover all of them. So I had to make more and then I had to rebatch it and it was just, it was nuts. So again, the ingredients that I used were uh, cocoa wafers, coconut oil, shea butter, beeswax, olive, avocado, apricot oil rosehip oil and vitamin e and actually i had added some honey to that and then of course the essential oil and the flavors and all that stuff i'll go ahead and write it down and put it in the link description and that's it i mean it's not really a farming video but when you farm and you're outside you got to protect your skin and your lips are part of your skin so it works out <laughs> it works out pretty good all right, guys, I'm going to go ahead and wash these up and put labels on them. After all that heat gunning, they look so pretty. But there was a few rebellious lip balms. As you can see, they still have little holes in them. And my theory on why that's even happening is because 
I did not pour quickly enough with the amount that I needed. So I didn't do any little tap, tap, tap. I should have probably tapped a lot more. And with having to redo things and rebatch it and all that stuff, I think that just lowered, I'm not gonna say the quality because I don't think the quality has been compromised. I just think that I didn't have enough and I didn't tap them and the little air bubbles didn't come up in time. But for the most part, all of them came out okay. So now I'm gonna go ahead and wipe them down on the outside with some alcohol and put the labels. clean and very very non greasy so we're gonna go ahead and put our lip balm stickers on them or labels I'm gonna try to align it as best as possible Now, if I was going to be selling these, obviously I would have to use different labels and I would have to include all the ingredients in my lip balm. But since these are gifts, I'm not gonna use that type of label. But I will be having a little printout attached to them somehow of what I used anyways. But since these came with the kit, I'm gonna go ahead and use them up. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and finish these up. Didn't these come out so cute? I really love the way that these came out. What do you guys think? Do you guys have any recipes that you'd like to share with everybody? I think this recipe came out really, really nice. And if you have your own bees, you could absolutely use your own honey your own beeswax and if you had any of these plants you could also get the oils from you can definitely do this on your farm for your farm i think it's such a smooth nice consistency i love the smell it actually smells like like crackle barrel lemonade but not super strong just kind of subtle it's really nice okay so the <laughs> are squeaky clean and sanitized there i've used alcohol to clean the outside the inside the rims any leftover lip balm was removed they look really cute if you guys would like to try this recipe again i'm leaving the links down below and anything that i used i'll go ahead and leave it down in the link below um I liked the see-through um, lip balm tubes. I think they're okay. Uh, we had some warping on, I think two or three of them warped on us. So, you know, I guess it's not horrible. And as far as the little tray with the spatula thingy, um, I think the tray's fine. The spatula, on the other hand, I feel could have been a little bit firmer. Other than that, I think it's fine. And I mean, anything that I used, I'll leave a link down below. Um, it is an affiliate link. I have made zero money off of them, but they'll be there in case you do wanna get one 
you can go ahead and click on the link and help support um, our channel and this whole journey that we're going through. So I went ahead and put a different sticker on this one so that I know that this one's mine. I'm gonna write my name on it, Mama. And I really liked it. I mean, very smooth, but firm. I don't think I would leave this in my car like for like in a hot day in here in Florida, but it's very smooth, very subtle flavoring, um, very pretty, very little shimmer. I mean, it just looks like a natural lip balm and that's it. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. I will go ahead and put the bands on them as soon as they get here. Uh, it's Tuesday, so they should get here Thursday and I'll go ahead and show you how to do those with the heat gun. All right, guys. Thank you so much for watching and God bless you. Bye. All right, so the little shrink wraps finally came from Amazon. They're called the uh, And let's open them up. It says it's heat shrink wrap film. Color is clear and they're for lip balm tubes. If you guys are interested, I'll go ahead and leave it a link in the description where you could get them it brings 500 and I don't want to open oh thank goodness I thought they were gonna be like all completely loose and I didn't want to lose them here we go I'm gonna show you guys right now how we can shrink wrap it but I might just want to take one out so you guys can see it so that's kind of cool. We'll put this on the tube in here and then we'll shrink wrap it. And then when people twist off the cap, it'll be sealed. They'll know that it's sealed and nobody's tampered with it or anything like that. All right, let's, I'm gonna go ahead and connect the heat gun and get our lip glosses ready. And I will be filming that right now. Okay, so I've got my heat gun ready and connected, my lip balm tube, and the little shrink wrap papers that go on top of it. I've never used these papers at all. I've used shrimp wrap before when I'm making soap, but I've never used the lip balm ones. So it looks pretty simple. You just kind of go like this to it, you know, like if you were, I don't know, playing cards or something. And we're going to go ahead and put it right on top. Okay. So I guess I'm going to make sure it's not where you could turn. Because if I put it too low, maybe, then the person won't be able to turn the lip balm. So it's right here to the top. And I'm going to go ahead and try it on a low heat. This heat gun has two options, a low and a high. This is low. Oh, that's nice. All right, hold on. Let me try to plug that in real quick. James, can you help me plug that? Toy. Sorry, guys. Having technical difficulties. I'm going to move these out of the way so they don't get stuck in the heat. And, okay, so we have low and high. I'm going to go ahead and do low. And let's see how that goes. So that's it. Um, I like it. It's nice and smooth. I was kind of scared to give it too much heat. I got some ripples here, but I think, let's see if we can take that out. It is hot, so I don't want... It's hot and I don't want... See, that, that smoothed it out. I didn't want to melt the lip balm, but I do want it to feel smooth. All 
I think they came out really nice. They look really cool. What do you guys think? Check that out, guys. That came out super nice. Super duper sharp. I really like it. I messed up a little bit on the tops of some of them. Um, but I just heated them up and just tap, tap, tap. And just squashed it. So I think they came out cool. Okay, I think they came out really cool. Um, I'm going to show you maybe close up. This one's mine. Yeah. Almost lost that heat gun. So super simple, you grab it, kind of pinch it like that, put it over, don't put it all the way down to the turny thingy, and let's try to do this without burning off the tips of my fingers. Cool. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Now let's see if it actually works to open it. Real simple, like, hold on. Sorry. All right. Mm. <laughs> there we go. Voila. Mm. It works. <laughs> That was cool guys and of course not like a super farming video but being self-sufficient is a good thing and knowing how to make some of your own products even if it is you know skin protectants or salves or beauty products or whatever that's a cool cool skill to have so hopefully somebody liked it and it benefits them somehow <laughs> and if not thank you for watching and following along love you guys god bless you see you next time